Today we're going to talk about the exposure triangle, but we're going to do it in one minute. Welcome to Minute Monday. <laughs> All right, so the exposure triangle. First, it is made up of three components, aperture, ISO, shutter speed. The easiest way to explain aperture, it is the size of the opening on your lens. Aperture is indicated in f-stops. The higher the f-stop, the smaller the opening is. But if I lower the aperture to like an f1.8, then that actually widens that opening, creating more light coming onto the sensor. So the next thing is shutter speed. Shutter speed is indicating how long your shutter is gonna be open. And you'll see it actually measured in seconds. If you look towards the left of your shutter speed on your camera, you'll see a number and a quotation mark. That is actual seconds. Higher shutter speed is going to decrease the amount of light that's coming onto the sensor. And then there's ISO. ISO is controlling the sensitivity of light to your sensor. As you increase ISO, you'll notice that your image is getting brighter, but it is also diminishing the quality of that image. So you have aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. All those three things combined will make for perfect exposure. <sighs> That's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you're digging the content coming from the channel, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you here next time. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Shh.